Hey guys, Triff Coach Leo today with, and we're back with Vinland Saga episode 5. So the three weeks paid off massively last week with episode 4 being absolutely amazing. I'm really, really interested in Askalad. I thought the way he was introduced has done so well. I underestimated him when, during the fight and I love his personality. I love the sort of like, he has to stay strong in, in front of his men, but some of the things he meant, and he is. So this guy who obviously had to, he, he stopped it. Instead of winning a duel, he shot him with arrows, which could be seen as dishonorable. He kept his promise of keeping them dead all alive. He didn't take any of them as slaves. He didn't have to do any of that. He, when he threw, when the kid went to attack him and he threw him on the floor, he's like, "That guy's worth fifty more men now. Sit the fuck down, basically." He just gave your life your, if he, he just gave his life for you, and then he sort of left. I, I love the bit when they, when the um, four fins showing that emotional scene and it done in his eyes which done so fantastically and everyone was done about laughing and he's just like stood there just like arms crossed and then everyone got serious and I'm just like I really enjoyed what they did with Askeladd's character I think like he's going to be a great character through the series I see the series going down sort of the route of the kid trying to kill him for a duel probably but um it's just slowly going to turn into like a sort of uh, teacher teacher relationship obviously Askeladd's not Askeladd at the end of the day was just doing his job and yeah I think they did his character his character was it's just really goddamn interesting i'm looking forward to learning a lot more about him um yeah i'm just looking, looking forward to jumping into this i wonder if this is going to be that sort of fast paced um him growing up or is it just going to be sort of slow taking time it's going to be interesting to see, like the kid's first kill him going on raids with vikings because he's on a viking bird in day so he's going to be doing they're not going to they're not going to baby him basically so yeah i'm really just see where the series is going to take and i'm really, i'm just really looking forward to it i think yeah but anyway look forward to where this goes so guys make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy let's jump into this nothing i have to give the show the fact that they gave four is only three episodes i'm glad they gave him three of three episodes to start off with and i cared for him so much by the time he died which is quite hard for a show to do we're just going to try and betray him was it floki the guy it was a salt water this won't be any good it's going to be fun to see the kids well power see to get him through this In England, boy. <laughs> Mate, he's just been thrown into a whole new world now. Oh, my boy sensed the water. That was such a sad laugh. Like, wow. The raid in the village. The brutality of the Vikings at the end of the day. What the fuck? Mate. I love how I showed the brutality of it. I'm glad he's doing that. I love how I took away the noise there to show just the severity of it. And just sleeping like it's no. None of them noticing this kid. Just a female there. God. I'm glad shows are shying away from it. I didn't think it would anyway. Like I could say it's just, just it's still in the Sony category, so I'm not being surprised. See, you don't have to be showing it like the the process of it, you know, just showing like just legs or something, just like it just leaves it to your mind, which is always I always find a lot darker. If I just know he's awake, he's just like me. I really like his character. I can tell him being probably one of my favourites in the show. <laughs> Mate, keep going down the honourable route. <laughs> Oh, 
これはドールズの息子だ I don't know why he's took some of his dad's teaching. Obviously, he's not fully learned it yet, but it's going to take a while. See, this is quite an interesting revenge story because it's, it's not the usual way they're chasing someone down. He's actually with him already. He had a laugh time, yeah. Mate, he's definitely gonna teach him as we go. No, oh, they actually did it. They took fucking time to train Badass. That is one way to describe it, really. Hmm? I love how to do an emotion on the face. Oh, how nice. <laughs> oh, we didn't go for it. He's prideful. There we go, it's up to it. Oh yeah, I forgot about the family. A lot of them notice the kids missing. I wonder what danger that village is in now that I didn't have force to protect them. Because you have that other guy with the slave and stuff. Mate? What savage? Dai is like a super brave face. She's had to grow up fast, clearly. <laughs> Fucking beast. I like the reaction there. Yeah. She's stepping up. He's obviously got a weak mom. Brother's missing. See, is she working hard to forget? Or is this what she was always like? <coughs> Have your moment. Really well done scene. <laughs> Mate, I get to add just that. That was really well done. Yeah, I liked how we knew she was upset, but she was just working out. But I love how they, did, they just did all that. <coughs> nice, quick pace. They got it all out of the way pretty quick. But it's just like, that was just really well. That's when sh show someone hiding their emotions. Or dealing with it. あの親父は確かに強かった。でも甘かった。それだけのことだろう。父親をバカにする。うん。ま。お。いけたし。
<laughs> oh, mate, that was the first fucking lesson already done, mate. This is going to be an interesting teacher teacher relationship. Teacher student. <laughs> Our first kill. Fuck hell, that was brutal. Did look like I did the fucking noise as well, mate. Mate, this show knows how to do its scenes, like how to do its first kills. That's show motion. It got its first lesson in already. This is definitely going to be something special. I love how he's not always sulking as well, like he's still getting pleased praise and praising himself. He's not just being, his, he's not fully down all the time. Oh, he's led to throw it. Boy, I don't know what all these little lessons we're getting. Mate, this is how you do a kid character in anime. Hey, he's got his rabbit. Boy. Really good way of doing a montage. Oh, he's got the basics of the survival. I don't expect him to approve massively, but... Maybe surprise him. Stay calm. I don't know why his friend noticed he went serious there. I guess he would know him the best out of anyone. The kick. Would he get straight back up? Oh, he's gonna go up this time, isn't he? Oh, mate, the big throw! Oh, that was savage. Mate, he's got a good reaction time, fuck now. The voice actor is fucking fantastic. Ooh, nice. So he didn't keep challenging him. That's the best way of doing it. Another way friends is fence looking at him. That intense look, mate. What can I say? No, show. It was a fantastic episode. Uh, I love the way that was all done. I think, like, the little bit of growth we've got with his, like, obviously the hunting was fantastic. Done. I really love how they did Helga's scene. I think that was my favourite scene. Um, showing someone do grief. I love how she didn't just outburst or, or cry like I would have expected. Or, like, oh no, fine. You know, she just carried on doing her jobs. And then, like, you know, it was hurting inside. And she hadn't hit her yet. And she wanted to stay strong because, you know, she has to. She's got like, a woman mother. A, a brother's missing. She's got the village to look after and help. Um, and she just played quite strong characteristics, but at the end you got the bit of emotion. Really well done scene. I loved how they did the village raid scene. They didn't like fully show you like, oh yeah, they're obviously doing the rape and the, the killing and all a lot. They just show like a guy sleeping in it, like just sort of things like, you know it's happening, but it's like the guy's in the shack with like a pair of women's legs sticking out. It's like, you, you know what's happened. You don't need to show the specific toll. You don't need to be childish, childish and showy and that lot. Like, Everyone goes on about like Goblin Slayer being dark, for example, episode one. To me, that was a childish way of doing the scene. It was dark edge, teenage dark edge. Do you know what I mean? Whereas I think the way this did it was more like you're grown, that's your grown up. It's not darkly edgy, it's a grown up reality 
of that time period. So like <clears throat> the way that's done to me is speaks speaks louder than like something like Demon Slayer where it has to show it and everyone complains about how dark it was and that. No, that was just being that was just being edgy, let's be honest. Um that's my personal opinion. If you disagree that's fine. But I always prefer stuff like that. It's like, um yeah, I just think really well done scene there with the raid, I just showed the brutality of it and just like two people will try to sneak off and then a guy hearing them and then getting shot in the head with hammer is just like that what it was what Vikings did. It's not glorifying it, and that's what I like. It's like you should watch a lot of shows and they glorify the raid scenes, Viking scenes, and it's like they glorify Vikings by the end of the day. They were brutal savages <laughs> in what they did. Um, really like, a, like I said, Asking Lad is a fantastic character, and I'm going to love seeing him around. He's going to have probably my favourite teacher, some really, teacher sort of relationship. I love the revenge story, how he's already found his target, but it's not just him hunting it, it's just a bit different from the usual revenge story, and I, can, I like that. Because it can give it to tight revenge stories can be quite iffy. Like obviously, my favorite is very revenge stories is Berserk, but it's like this is doing something a bit different. And I like that, so uh, so it feels a bit new. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next week.